everyone, so today's video is going to be a Christmas glam makeup look. It's basically the look that I have on now and I've kind of done glittery sort of eyes and lots of reds because um, that's kind of like what I like to do at Christmas. I did attempt to wing and it went wrong so I just redid it. So if you want to know how I did this look then keep on watching. I have moisturised my face as I normally do. I'm not going to prime because I don't have a good primer right now and I'm not actually going anywhere so it doesn't really matter um, but I'm going to start off with the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation in the shade 105 this is one of my favourite foundations ever then I'm going to go with the Collection Nasty Perfection Concealer and this is a concealer that I purchased like last week and you'll be surprised because there's so much hype about this I don't know why but I never just bought it I think it was a lot to do with the Wherever I went, they never had fair in stock, they just had the other ones, so I never picked it up. But then I just thought, I need to pick this up, I need to try it. I did use it yesterday, and I don't have a formatted opinion on it yet, but I'm going to keep on using it, and then I will let you know. That is my base, so I'm going to go do my eyebrows off camera, then I'll do the eyes and then we'll finish off the skin and then obviously lips, so. Okay, so what I've already put all over my lid and I'm working into the crease is the colour Butter Cake. I thought it was recording, apparently not, hope I am now, I can see the red dots, I think I am. Um, but I've used the Morphe M139 brush just to pack it on slowly because I just tried to do this once and it kind of got a bit too much. So it's so much better to build it up slowly than to put so much on and you can't take it away. The Morphe M502 brush and it has a little bit of excess on it so I've tapped it in the pan lightly and just kind of blend it into the crease. So I am really going to build up that red. Just so we have a fully opaque colour but again like I said not so it's overly too much. So next I'm going to take the Colourpop Super Shock Glitter Ultra Glitter Eyeshadow in the colour Crimper. It's a really pretty gold shade and I'm basically going to put that right in the middle of my lid. So I am going to attempt to cut it first but I'm not too great at that so we're going to see how it goes and then we're going to pack this on the top of it. and I'm going to blend the edges. I'm going to take the Collection um, Glam Crystals Dazzling Gel Liner in the shade Funk and I'm going to put that all over on top of that. And that's really giving it some glitter. And then I'm just going to take a standard black pencil liner and do above my waterline. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the other eye off camera and then I'm going to put some lashes on and then we're going to finish them off and then we'll finish the rest of the face. So now I have done the eyes, I'm going to finish the face off and I'm going to use the Too Faced chocolate bronzer, of course. I just dropped this on the floor and I'm so surprised that it didn't break, so I'm really happy that it didn't either. Basically just going to warm up my face like I normally do, not contouring, just bronzing. Highlight, I'm going to use the Anastasia Glow Kit Ultimate Glow. I wanted this for so long and I purchased it on Black Friday and I got it for like almost half price I think, which is literally amazing. So this is a new addition to my makeup collection, I am absolutely in love, it's so gorgeous. I mean, I'm going to take this colour here, which is White Sand, it's honestly my favourite shade in the palette.
Then to completely finish the look, of course, I'm going with a red lip. So I'm going to use the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the colour Outlaw. These are super pigmented, but I do not like their lasting power. It says Everlasting, which I kind of assume means that it's going to last long. They don't last through eating and drinking. Like, come on, you're supposed to be Everlasting. So that is my finished Christmas glam look. I hope you have enjoyed the video. If you have, give it a thumbs up. And I would love it if you could subscribe. And I will see you whenever I post another video. Come on, Lawrence, should be soon, hopefully. But I will see you then.